you know, could have maybe argued to scope it as well. Some people talk about doing that. I don't think I actually did in this particular case. It would not have been wrong. My theory was I'm going to have that exposed. I'm going to be looking through the medial side. I'm going to be able to identify an intraarticular pathology. And if, I, it's, if it's there, I can always address it. So a lot of times on these, I, you know, I know they talk about osteochondral lesions, lateral side. I actually see a fair number with on the medial side or medial shoulder of the which is really where I want to see. So if I'm opening it to fix the medial mal anyway, I'm just going to take my time, flush the hematoma, and get a good look at it. What, what are your thoughts on arthroscope, joint inspection, and, and strategies for success? Yeah, great question. So I go back and forth whether to scope them or not because, you know, a lot of times I'm doing this, you know, open like the medial mal and, and so forth so I can see it. I do like use of the, I'll use like a small joint scope, like a nanoscope to look at the joint many times and even just to evaluate it and, and to document, document. the joint injury. Yep. I think that's a big thing because like you said, those medial osteochondral lesions, we see them and I think yep. they're underreported because yep. I don't think people are like looking for them. I'll, look, I'll make a point to look for it and most of the time you'll see it or you'll see like the cartilage, almost like a fractured windshield. You'll see like a dent in the medial dome. And so I, I'll remark on that. I'll take an image of it. And many times I'll take photos of it. So I think they're very helpful. 